coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unmanned. WISC is progressing with its transport trial. Also, Texas politician tries to regulate aviation outside the FAA. And TSA assists Connecticut State Police with drone detection tests. Welcome to the Arrow News Network's Airborne Unmanned program, a weekly news program covering all things unmanned in partnership with AVSI, the Association for Unmanned Vehicle Systems International. Hi, I'm your host, Kimberly Kay. New Zealand is getting ready to test autonomous passenger transport. WISC is progressing with its transport trial, which will advance autonomous passenger transport under the New Zealand government's broader airspace integration trial program. WISC is working towards rolling out the implementation phase later this year. In February 2020, WISC announced that it had signed a memorandum of understanding with the New Zealand government to establish the transport trial under the broader AITP. Since then, both parties have been undertaking detailed planning of a highly structured and integrated program, with implementation of the trial expected to start in the second half of 2021. WISC is also bringing the in-situ Pacific into the program to support the trial. Through this partnership, WISC will combine its leadership of autonomous flight operations and the advanced technology and expertise of Boeing to deliver on the passenger trial objective. To safely evaluate, test, and demonstrate the integration of unmanned aircraft into existing airspace, WISC brings approximately 1,500 test flights and the backing of Boeing's expertise in integration piloted and autonomous technology. After these messages, NASA Ingenuity Mars Helicopter preps for flight. More news after the break. In Diamond Aircraft, innovation is in our DNA. Whether you're taking to the skies for training or business travel, every aircraft in Diamond's lineup features innovative technology, an industry-leading safety record, superior performance and efficiency, and a comfortable flying experience. No other company has pioneered as many aviation firsts, achieved more milestones, or received the same amount of industry praise as Diamond. Discover why Diamond Aircraft is one of the most trusted manufacturers in aviation at diamondaircraft.com. Aviation Safety Resources is disrupting the market for aircraft emergency parachute recovery systems. ASR systems are smaller, lighter weight, and offer longer repack cycles than similar products available on the current market. ASR has a recovery system available for every type of aircraft. Sport, experimental, light sport, general aviation, urban air mobility, vertical takeoff and landing, electric propulsion, and unmanned aerial systems. Find the right product for your aircraft at AviationSafetyResources.com. Swift Fuels proudly introduces the Forever Avgas STC. One simple upfront purchase entitles the Forever STC certificate holder to receive all current and future Avgas STCs that the FAA issues to Swift Fuels. The best part? It's priced today at only $100, and the prepaid certificate never expires. Get your Forever Avgas STC today at SwiftFuelsAvgas.com. Welcome back. In the next Unmanned Minute, let's take a brief look at a few of the shorter stories that are making the rounds of the unmanned vehicle communities. NASA is targeting no later than April 8th for the Ingenuity Mars helicopter to make the first attempt at powered control flight of an aircraft on another planet. Before the four-pound rotorcraft can attempt its first flight, however, both it and its team must meet a series of daunting milestones. Ingenuity remains attached to the belly of NASA's Perseverance rover, which touched down on Mars February 18th. Then, on March 21st, the rover deployed the guitar case-shaped graphite composite debris shield that protected Ingenuity during landing. DART Drones has awarded scholarships to young women in aviation through the Wings for Val Foundation. DART Drones has awarded scholarships to young women in aviation through the Wings for Val Foundation. The Wings for Val Foundation honors the legacy of Navy Lieutenant Valerie Cape Laird Delaney, who was an EA-6B Prowler jet pilot. Every year, multiple scholarships are awarded to women pursuing careers in aviation. Announced at the Women in Aviation Virtual Conference, this year's scholarship recipient, Abigail Wells, is a molecular biologist geneticist under contract to NOAA's Northwest Fisheries Center in Seattle, Washington. Abby earned her private pilot's license in 2020. Textron Systems awarded contract by Army to upgrade Shadow. 
Textron Systems has received a contract for up to $607 million from the Army to provide contract logistics support, fuel services, and engineering support, along with the retrofit of the existing Shadow Block 2 tactical unmanned aircraft system to the upgraded Block 3 configuration. This award follows a successful follow-on operational test and evaluation of the Block 3 configuration by the Army in late 2020. The work will be completed in TechStrong Systems Hunt Valley facility. Martin UAV is demonstrating a newly upgraded version of the VBAT, the VBAT 128. Reportedly offering increased power, payloads, and endurance, the VBAT 128 offers increased horsepower, 11 hours of endurance, a higher operational ceiling, and interchangeable payloads for mission-specific requirements. The improved version of the VBAT maintains its current small VTOL footprint to launch, transport, and operate. That was our Unmanned Minute. Now back to the rest of the news. A Texas politician is trying to overstep and set unmanned aircraft regulations outside of the FAA. And we all know that's not a good idea. Our friends at AMA tell us that on March 9th, Representative John Sarrier introduced House Bill number 3403. The bill proposes that it would be a criminal offense to fly any unmanned aircraft outside of the direct line of sight of the operator, above unauthorized private property, attempts to set altitude restrictions, and imposes a fee for such an occurrence. AMA believes that this bill could impact the model aircraft community if it's passed. Texas proposed HB 3403 attempts to regulate airspace and UAS operations, which is the sovereign authority of the U.S. government. In December 2015, the FAA released a fact sheet for state and local governments that asserts its authority over the airspace and underscores the importance of consistent federal regulations. While possibly well-intended but naive, if HB 3403 passes includes several operational restrictions like altitude, location, etc. that run counter to FAA's authority. AMA urges members from Texas to reach out to Representative Sarrier and the members of Texas House of Representatives Transport Committee to express their opposition to this bill. After the break, law enforcement partner up to hunt and stop unauthorized drones from interfering with commercial aviation. Those details after these messages. When adventure is calling, the Bori by Aero Volga is the plane you need to answer the call. Bori's composite design is simple, reliable, and economical, with impressive performance and no gimmicks. Designed for the wilderness and proven durability in a flight around the Arctic Circle, the Bori has what it takes to handle your next adventure. Featuring two large cargo compartments, a comfortable modern cockpit, and a Rotax 912 power plant, the Bori Amphibian is now available in Canada. Experience the Bori for yourself at FlightSimple.com. I believe that if people use the Landing Doctor Training Program, they will have less accidents and eventually their insurance will go down and they will make a superior pilot. We do personal limitation checklists, which is the most important reason you need to fly with limits. We do ground proximity awareness training, and we do this with a crosswind. We've been operating six Bristels for two years without one insurance claim. The Landing Doctor program is working, and you're going to hear more about it. Are you ready to ace your FAA drone pilot knowledge test, get your remote pilot certificate, and start earning money? Well, flying a drone is a great tool that can open up new business opportunities for anyone. Realtor, insurance adjuster, videographer, or commercial weekend drone warrior, you need to fly legally. Whether you're pursuing your initial Part 107 remote pilot certificate, or you need a renewal, King Schools has a course just for you. So start learning today at kingschools.com. Welcome back. For those rebel drone pilots out there, you better start playing by the rules. TSA law enforcement and police departments from Connecticut and New York recently partnered with the Connecticut State Police to assess their ability to hunt and stop unauthorized drones from interfering with commercial aviation. The teams ran scenarios at Hartford Brainerd Airport where they tested the State Police Department's ability to locate a rogue drone as well as its operator by using law enforcement operated drones to find them. The test showed the team's ability to quickly find the drone and then guide police forces stationed on the ground to locate and order the operator to land the device. 
We know that it takes time to send out a plane or a helicopter to look for a drone that is in proximity of an airport or in a flight path, said Sergeant Eric Hurley, commanding officer of the Connecticut State Police Emergency Services Unit Aviation Section. The collaboration between the National Air Guard, New Haven Police Department, TSA officers, directors, federal air marshals, and the CSP was instrumental in being able to quickly identify and locate an unauthorized drone from the air with the use of another drone. Well, that does it for our show today. Thank you for joining us. I'm your host, Kimberly Kay. Make sure to follow our YouTube channel and you can also catch episodes of Airborne on Roku and Fire TV. We hope you enjoy the show. We'll see you next time.